Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Saturday, September 5th, 2020. Free pick in the NBA coming up on this report. Uh, listen, we got the goofy looking hat on. It's got that big front of the hat, but I decided to keep it on for the video today uh, because we put on the hat with about eight or nine minutes to go in the third period of the Game 7 clash between the Canucks and the Golden Knights. Thanks to those of you who jumped on board, we had a six-star uh, goal line or puck line play on uh, Vegas. They were laying a goal and a half plus a dollar ten. We we made it a six-star play. Thatcher Demko was again standing on his head between the pipes as he did all three games uh, that he started in that series. Vegas finally breaks through after we put on the hat, right? They score three goals. I'll take the two empty netters. I don't mind winning that way. And we laid the goal and a half plus a dollar ten, and we got the win. So I decided to wear the hat during the video. Speaking of hats, it is Derby Day. Obviously, the Kentucky Derby, the run for the roses. And I've got a pair of Kentucky Derby matchups available right now over at DocSports.com. Top matchup is a seven-star play, and the cool thing about it, it is an underdog price. You're going to like the price on this one. Two matchups in all, and you know we do matchups when it comes to horse racing, car racing, uh, PGA, and in fact, in the Derby over the last eight years, we've gone 21 and 11 with our matchups. So two more on Saturday. They're both available over at DocSports.com, and again, the lead play is a seven-star plus money price. And I said speaking of hats because I brought it out again. Uh, it's had it's better days as you can tell but if you can see that and read that uh, that is a 1980 hat from Exarbon Racetrack in Omaha, Nebraska. It's basically where I got my start into the world of sports betting, hanging out there in my early to mid-teens before making the venture out to Las Vegas at the ripe old age of 17. But uh, my uncle, Robert Mundorf, who went by Bobby Mundorf, was a world-class jockey back in the day. And in fact, a couple years before I was born in the 1960s, he did win, and he was a one-time jockey of the year at Del Mar Racetrack. Robert Mundorf, in case you want to Google it and look it up. Uh, so we do have two matchups, a seven star is the lead play in our matchups in the Derby for Saturday. If we win both, we'll end up 23 and 11 on the current run with Kentucky Derby matchups. That ain't all. We got a whole lot going on. We got PGA. I've got one matchup uh, for Saturday's card. I've got NBA. We cashed first half play yesterday with the Milwaukee Bucks. It was our only NBA play. Milwaukee couldn't get it done full game. We didn't care about it. All we cared about was the first half and they took care of business and cashed our ticket with that first half play. So a nice winner there. Six star winner in the NHL. We had a rare loss in the WNBA. We're now 16 and four with my last 20 WNBA plays. Healthy 16 and 4, 80 percent, and 67 and 39 with my last 106. I'm in action in the NBA. Got one play for Saturday. I've got one play of the WNBA. College football. We got off to the winning start on Thursday with South Alabama over Southern Miss. One more college football play to go on this first week's card. It's available right now. DocSports.com is Saturday play. It's a five star, by the way, if you want to jump on board. And if we win that one, our run on college and football gridirons will go to over $10,000. $300 for $100 per unit better is going back to late September 2018. So a lot going on. I'm, I'm just looking at the notes here to make sure I get to them all. You got the two derby matchups. Again, seven star leading the way. Five star play in UFC fight night action on uh, UFC on ESPN and uh, ESPN Plus, and uh, our UFC five-star run is now sitting at 60%. Told you I got the one play in the NBA. Uh, we've got a 2-0 Major League Baseball report for uh, Saturday's card. We've got the NHL play, uh, the Game 7 clash between the Islanders and the Flyers. I'm involved in soccer. We passed on Friday, but we got that first win in the UEFA Nations League, and I've got to play in the UEFA Nations League for Saturday. DocSports.com. Uh, PGA, we've got the one matchup for Saturday. Saturday, WNBA four-star. Going to pass in the KBO for early Sunday action. Just kind of looked ahead to the pitchers, and uh, we won't have any KBO there. So that's a lot going on for us. And again, the lead play is that seven-star matchup in the Derby. And again, if you haven't got a yet five-star play in college football, all right, that's enough. We got the good luck hat on, got the Golden Knights in, and uh, let's get to our free pick for Saturday's card. We're going to look at NBA action, the total between the Nuggets and the Clippers. And we saw a lower-scoring game than a lot of people expected in-game 
game one. The Clippers jumped out to a big lead, kind of coasted to that win. It had overwritten all over it until Denver just couldn't hang on the offensive end. They were tired. They were worn down. They talked about only getting, you know, what a day off or whatever it was between the last series when they knocked off Utah and having to play game one. Some of the players even mentioned it the day before game one, but they really did wear down. I think you're going to see now these two teams going out on the offensive end, and I believe we're going to see the over. Uh, so that's my free pick here is going to be over the total. And we saw the Clippers in their last series. They couldn't handle the pick and roll of Dallas, and that was what they banged up Porzingis. I think Denver, who wants to run pick and roll, is going to be able to do enough in this game to be able to help push this over the posted total. So that's the free pick uh, for Saturday in the NBA, the over between the Nuggets and the Clippers. Don't forget about everything I told you that I got going over at DocSports.com on Saturday. Hey, listen, I'm probably going to take Saturday night off from videos because it's going to be the last weekend that I can do this with the NFL starting next week with week one coming. Uh, so we'll probably be off Saturday night with videos. I'll definitely be back by Sunday night for Monday's card. All right. Best of luck on Saturday. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.